I want to talk to you guys today about uh, different opportunities that um, might present itself when you're out mowing yards. One of the things I've come across this um, mowing season is the different, different marketing ways that other companies try to get business. Um, when you're out there, you should be uh, gathering facts, gathering data about your customer that is already is stated, already given. Now let me explain that. When you got a mowing crew out there mowing the yard, um, when they're about to wrap up, there should be, um, I don't know, uh, 10 or 15 point uh, check to make sure that they got the, the gate locked, the, they got everything cleaned up. They do a site walk, kind of a walkthrough afterwards before they leave so they don't uh, forget equipment. They didn't miss any trash that was left in the yard. Um, they can uh, come up with like a worksheet. Give them a worksheet and if you're a solo operator this is what I'm going to do for myself as a small company. I'm going to create a worksheet that it will allow me to gather information like yard cleanup. Do they need a yard cleanup? What about a leaf cleanup maybe? Maybe not a full yard cleanup but a leaf cleanup. Clean out the beds. Do some weeding. You know, list the different uh, services that you can give this um, client to improve the appearance of their yard. Because all customers want their yard looking the best on the street and maintained. And I've come across many clients that are happy to continue to buy from me versus going to another company. Do they like that new company? They don't know. These are questions they're, they're going to have to ask themselves. If, if they're satisfied with me and the services I provide, and if I uh, provide a high level of quality, um, they're going to stay with me because they trust and like me. Okay? They might not love me. They not might want to be my friend, which is fine. But I offer a professional service at a reasonable price, and I also will let my customer know the services that I provide. And I want to give them an opportunity to tell me, hey, you're providing an excellent service, please continue, and this is how we uh, want to continue our relationship with you, because we're going to ask you to do the mulch beds, the weeding, the uh, leaf cleanup in the fall or spring, a yard cleanup maybe, trimming the hedges, you know, um, if you do irrigation, you can offer irrigation. If you do fertilizer or pest control, do that. Or tree treatment, you know. I mean, there's so many different treatments that you can offer a client. You should have a list there, and you should be able to present it to them. Maybe uh, have plastic baggies, slip that in there, and hang it on the front door, and let the customer know that, hey, we would like to recommend this service as before we left we took a, a look at your property and this is what we recommend. Let us know when you are ready to you know XYZ. It's never a high pressure sale it's always leave it in the customers hand and let them decide when they're ready to call you. But always be willing and available to service your existing clients and keep them happy because it costs so much money to um, go out there and find a new customer. It might cost you a couple hundred or a couple thousand to obtain a customer and it's not cheap. And um, I guess in closing, um, thanks for watching my video. Um, give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe and uh, spread the word. Thank you.